Hello everyone and welcome to the Gaming Club. In this video I'll talk about State of Survival, zombie apocalypse game for your Android or Apple devices. So if you're looking for a new game to start playing or you just started playing like a while ago, this video is for you. It is the first one in the series of short video guides where I'm gonna cover all the game aspects, starting from the very basics, continue with describing all the in-game events and eventually covering all the end game content. I will do my best to make these videos both free to play and pay to play friendly, so that uh, if you don't spend the real money, then you know how to manage your in game resources efficiently. And if you are willing to support developers, then you know which items can be purchased in game and are most efficient. Before we jump straight into the game, I will tell you what's the game about. As you can see on the screen, it's the zombie apocalypse, and we are trying to survive and zombies are everywhere, but the game isn't really about the zombies, it's about survival. In order to do that, you will have to make allies. You will also collect supplies, train your troops and improve your heroes, build your shelter, but the most important thing in this game is playing together with other people. And in order to do that, you will have to find an alliance and join it as soon as possible. So I just wanted to set the expectations right for those people who were thinking that this game is a solo one and you can enjoy it by just uh, farming some resources and improving your uh, troops and uh, heroes. That's not the case. You won't enjoy the game if you are trying to solo it. Once you launch the game for the first time, even before the tutorial kicks in, there is a prompt asking you which state you want to start playing. A lot of people are wondering whether they should start in the older state or the recent one. And I would definitely not recommend starting in any older state, because once the new state is launched, there is a bunch of statewide so-called state intel missions that will grant you a lot of rewards once the objective is met. And this objective is shared across all the players of the state. So by joining the older state you will miss these rewards, it will make your progression slower and it will be very very difficult or should I say impossible to catch up with the other players who started like weeks or months ago. Also if you decided to play with your friend, make sure you start in the same state, because you won't be able to join the same alliance if you started in the different ones. Please be aware that you can still join the state if your headquarters is lower than level 6. Afterwards, that's not possible. I don't think I should focus on tutorial mission in this video, because it's fairly straightforward and requires just a lot of tapping while you go through the initial objectives, like uh, clearing your settlement from zombie leftovers, some piles of trash and uh, learning how to move your heroes and uh, train new troops. The tutorial itself is not that long, it should take you like a few hours to complete it and uh, once you've done that, at certain stage you will have a prompt to either create your alliance or join an existing one. And that's where the fun starts, so make sure you do that. I will dedicate a whole new video just to explain how beneficial it is to be part of an alliance. What else worth mentioning? The game is done on Unreal Engine and looks quite visually attractive. That comes for the cost of requiring a powerful enough device uh, to play it, otherwise you may run into performance problems. Also, since it's MMO type game, stable internet connection is required all the time you play, there is no such thing as offline mode. And uh, what I notice is that uh, the quality of your internet is more important than the speed. So make sure that uh, once you're outside of your home Wi-Fi coverage, you still have a decent network connection in order to avoid constant disconnects. At the end of this video, I would like to share some tips how to make your account safe and secure long term. First of all, you want to change your nickname. By default, it's survivor dot and some random numbers. So just uh, type in your usual nickname and uh, save it. Uh, the first change is for free. You can change it as many times as you like later on. It will just cost you 400 biocaps, but that's not much. Uh, what you want to do as well is changing your profile picture, because uh, in that way you will have uh, more invites from other alliances. If they see the default profile picture, they might not invite you. Be careful, once it's done, you will be literally bombarded <laughs> with invites. So just uh, choose one that you like, and uh, I would recommend going to Strongest Alliance. Next thing you want to do is go into Settings, tap on Account, and then bind it to one of the social networks. So that means in case your device is lost, damaged, or the game won't start for whatever reason, you can uh, save your progress and your settlement won't be lost. 
you can bind it uh, to any of the social networks uh, you can see on the screen. And after doing that, you will be also able to play the same account on multiple devices. Let's say you want to play the game on the phone during the day and uh, later in the evening you want to do that on your tablet. So after installing the game there, you will just need to launch it first time, skip the introduction and switch your account. If you tap on character management, you can create uh, more accounts. As you can see, I have uh, two. The left one is my main account, which I created earlier in the state 135 and been playing there for several months. And the right one is the new account that I created for tutorial purposes and it's in the recent state number 313. You can have as many characters as you like, but the amount per one state is two characters only. This menu also allows you playing two or more characters on the same device, so you can switch between them. And in order not to get lost, just check what is the state you are currently in. It's displayed right under your nickname on your Chief's profile page. Now it's time for the bonus advice for those who watched the video up to the end. For some reason uh, and some weird reason, uh, the game's default graphic setting is uh, 30 FPS. You definitely want to change that uh, to 60 FPS if you go to settings, then game. And here at the bottom of the list, you can change graphics frame rate to 60 FPS from the default 30. That's pretty much it what I wanted to cover in my first video. I have uh, put together a list of topics that uh, I'll be covering in my future videos. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel in order not to miss those. I also have a website where I put together all the information about the game I have found. So all my guides, in-game mechanics, even tutorials, everything is there and you are welcome to visit it. All links are in the description. For now, thanks for watching and I wish you a nice day.